hey guys welcome back to keeping up with china um today we're back with another video um if you're new welcome and if you're not welcome back so for today's video i'm going to be talking about how i work with my stutter um i don't know why people think you know it's any different than you know with anybody else who speaks fluently um yeah so i'm just gonna go over how it is and also i'm gonna also be talking about how it's been being on my own because i am done with my uh, i'm done with training and all that stuff uh, I, i'm no longer my preceptors so i'm all alone um you know living the dream you know being a nurse or whatnot on the floor doing my own thing you feel me yeah but yeah anyways if you you know would like to continue watching stay tuned all right so um how do i move my stutter so i mean um you guys like on my floor there's so many things to do there's always so much stuff to do that half of the time i don't i don't be remembering i don't be caring i don't be you know like oh my gosh i stutter i i can't do this like you know like i feel like my job actually helps me to you know just um break out of that comfort zone and also like it brings out that confidence in me and stuff like that and even if i do stutter a lot of the patients they really don't care you know they're there because they're sick and they need help and you know they're trying to get better half of the time they don't care i mean a few of them has you know realized that i do stutter and it's because you know they themselves have stuttered or it or do stutter um or do stutter at um at the, the at the moment so that's or or know somebody who stutters so um so they will be like oh my gosh you stutter i'm like yeah they're like oh my gosh that is so cool i'm like what that's not cool <laughs> you know like you know they 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 be like oh you you're so good blah 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 you know you, you have the courage to actually you know do all of this with the stutter blah 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 and i'm like yeah you know like i'm not gonna let my stutter stop me from you know doing things that i want to do and living my best life you know so um yeah like i i, I honestly think that my job really you know it's it's been helping me a lot like i i cannot stress that enough it's it's honestly been helping me a lot you know because i do have to speak more now so like um i try to find different ways to actually speak um you know like i i i a lot of the time use my hands like i mentioned before using my hands just help me with um help me to articulate my words better so i find myself a lot at work just you know using my hands like you know and um yeah like my patients don't have a problem with it i mean i'm pretty sure i'll find you know one or two that you know that makes fun of me or you know you know have something negative to say about my story but um at this point i'm trying to not really care about the negativity i mean this is how i this is how I was born. This is, you know, part of me. And honestly, my stuttering has been quite better over the last couple of weeks. I believe I wouldn't say months, weeks. Um, I've seen a huge improvement. Like, cause I, cause I remember they say, you know, the less you worry about it, the the less attention you, you give it, and you know, you know, the less you know you, you basically worry about it. So you know, the the less you stutter, you know, because the more you know tense you get the, the more anxious you get the more you think about it that's that's why you know you you know that that results in you stuttering you know so i feel like i've just been staying busy just you know getting things done enjoying life doing the things that i want to do um doing that you know and doing that it's, it's helped me to like you know not really think about it as much because oh my gosh i used to think about this stuttering thing every single day of my life and it would be like a constant thing oh my gosh what if i stutter like i remember i remember i used to actually worry so much about like oh my god am i going to find a job how am i gonna work with my stutter like i used to worry about all of that you know like and that's one thing that, that that i hate about myself well not hate but there's that's something that you know i feel like i could change about myself ouch um is you know um i'm always thinking far ahead in the future with my study for example um 
for example, in my, um, because I am a, res, um, a new grad nurse, so we have this program at my job, it's called the New Grad Residency Program, where like, you know, it's a group of new grad students, you know, we meet like every month, we talk about, you know, what's been going on on the floor, how we've been adjusting, and the things that we want to share, you know, with, with our peers and stuff like that. Um, we have to actually do like a project, like a big final project at, at, after one year and we have to actually give like an oral presentation you know um and that presentation is going to be in front of all of the you know the cno the you know the managers all of that so i'm just like i and i remember the first day they told us that oh my gosh i almost had like a meltdown i was like oh my gosh how i'm gonna do this how i'm gonna be you know how how am i supposed to talk in front of all these people, all of the, these, you know, big people, because the, the CNO is the one that, you know, the, that's the chief of nursing, you know. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? You know, like, I spend the whole day just stressing about it. And that, and it's not even, you know, that, you know, that project is not, you know, due until, like, the end of next year, which is going to be, like, in October, a whole year, you know. So, I like, I stress so much about the, the, the like, you know, the future that, you know, sometimes it drives me crazy. So... I'm actually trying to, you know, lessen that a little bit because, you know, I need to live on the live in the now and, you know, just do what I got to do now and whatever comes later, I'll deal with that later, you know, because if you try to worry about everything all at once, that just does not work out. Yeah, but other than that, like I my peers, I mean, most of my um, most of my colleagues and stuff, they know that that I do stutter and they don't like they don't um have anything negative to say you know like they know it they know i stutter but you know they don't bring it up or like um you know they just act like i'm a they treat me like i'm a regular person you know then that's how you're supposed to be treated you know because you are a regular person you just you just you know speak a little differently because of your stuttering but it's it's like having a it's like having like um an accent i would say like a strong accent I get. I mean, that's how I think about it, really. Sometimes, um, yeah. And my manager, um, I mean, she's the one who hired me, and she knew from the get go that I studied. Cause, oh my gosh, during my interview, I was nervous. Like I was so nervous. Like I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know. I guess she see. She saw past my stuttering because when I tell you guys, I don't like interviews. Interviews, I. Oh, just the worst like because it's like you're trying to make a first impression blah 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 all this stuff you know you're, you're trying to make them tire you but then you get you know you you have this big this um this stutter you know that you know it's really especially in in, in like certain situations like that my stutter is really bad i cannot get a word out you know so i'm glad that she she's seen past my stuttering and you know she believed in me and that you know and that I would be a good fit for the company and and you know for she believed in me so and now I'm here you know I'm actually doing really good like I'm really proud of myself of the progress and stuff that I've made with my stutter I'm, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing because I'm telling you guys the less I think about it the less I, the less I think about it the less I stutter when, when I start to think about oh my gosh I'm gonna stutter in this word that's when I stutter you know like you know so I just try to not um think about it and actually just slow down the the best that I can you know and talk slowly and stuff and you know and um so going to you know how my how me being alone has been at work so I mean um it's been good actually like I actually like you know me being sorry by myself because you know you you, you don't have that person you know our preceptors and stuff you know in the back of you know looking watching at everything that you do and you know like you can actually have your own your own little schedule your own little routine that you do that works for you you know instead of you know trying to meet up some somebody else's you know um little schedule and all that stuff you know so i like how like you know i can do my own thing whatever fits for me and stuff like that and without anybody being in the back of my shoulder looking and you know at everything that i do because that <laughs> that be stressing me out like i don't like people being all up in my you know like if i'm doing something let me you know let me do it you know i got if i have a question i'll, I'll come to you and ask you questions you know but you know if i got it i got it you know 
so I really enjoy I'm really enjoying it there's I mean I feel like half of the time I feel like I don't know what I'm doing like you know but you know uh, my teammates my co-workers and stuff they're very helpful they're very cohesive like we um we help each other out a lot like that which makes the job so much easier it is a lot like at you know some nights we'd be having like seven seven um seven patients which is the maximum but um you know having your teamwork um, your your team workers and stuff like that they really help out a lot which i really like so it really just give me a, a little a little less anxiety knowing that you know if i do need help they they are there to help they actually ask me you know do you need help like is there something that you need need help doing you know they actually ask me for help because me i'm a, i'm a person where like I don't like asking for help like you know like I would try to actually figure it out like 10 times before I actually ask somebody you know but you know them being so cool and you know just willing to help actually allowed me to you know just go out there you know just actually ask for help a lot of the times and stuff but so far it's been good it's it's been a lot you know it's been a lot of learning experience really um a lot actually being on my own and stuff but i know it's just the beginning i'm still growing i'm still learning every single day um being a new nurse is not easy because you know it's it's just not easy you know the profession is not easy um it's really not but you know you just take it a day at a time like honestly take it a shift at a time because if you try to you know t you know try to you know work yourself up and all that stuff you're not gonna make it you guys like you would literally have a meltdown and and quit because that job is it's really hard it takes it takes a strong individual to actually do the work that we do like and, and it's when they say that now I'm, I'm actually learning you know what they mean by that because i you know people used to used to used to tell me that all the time it takes a strong individual to do the work that now i actually see what they mean because it is a lot like it really is but um yeah like works it's good i'm learning every day i'm trying to stay less uh, you know more less more positive and less anxious because sometimes i be in the parking lot like oh my gosh do i really have to still go in because that you because honestly you don't know what type of night you will have like honestly truly every day that you go in it's never the same night like it's never the same night so you just gotta go in and just pray that you make it out the shift you know you make it out the shift alive and you know you're you're still good because some some nights are good great you know and some nights are rough you know so you, you never know what type of night that you're gonna have you just have to hope for the best go with a positive mind and you know just make it make it um make the best out of it really so um all right this video is getting a little too long because i'm rambling on about all this crap <laughs> well not crap all these things so um, i'm gonna stop right here um yeah so if you guys um have any questions if you guys want me to do like more little story like story time and stuff um while um at work and stuff like that because i have a few story stories that's uh things that's happened to me and stuff in, the, in these last couple of weeks and it's been crazy you guys so if you guys want want to know more stories or if you guys have any questions leave them down below um yeah you guys like like i said i'm gonna be mixing my videos a little bit some days i'll be talking about my stuttering some days i'll be talking about my hair some days i'll be talking about um nursing nursing my hair and stuttering. yeah whatever it is you know some days i'll just make something random you know i'm just gonna try to mix it up a little bit so i can have more content for you guys but if you guys um have anything specific in mind that you guys would like me to do let me know and for the house tour you guys i'm still thinking about the empty house tour because i where where um my room is almost done it's almost done i i'm still w w waiting for like one or two things to arrive for me to put in and then i'll do the room tour well the room tour for you guys but for the house tour, the house is not completely done either. We still have like some boxes and stuff laying around the house that we want to get fixed before we actually want to do the house tour. And I have, I, I do have the empty house tour. It's just that I'm not really sure yet because the quality is just a mess. Like it's dark and it's, 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 it's rough, you guys. The video is rough. So I'm not really sure yet if I want to post it. But I mean, if you guys do really want to see it, I'll post it anyways but yeah stay tuned for my next videos um thank you so much you guys for the support i will see you guys on my next video bye